One amazing thing that you can do with pivot tables is interactive dashboards. It doesn't matter where you get your data from, a Power Query or a normal table. Here I have a sales dashboard. Sales are broken down by invoice amount, by product line, by geography. Also, I have a time scale and a top 10 customers. And uh, also, I have uh, slicers in here. And if, for example, I use choose only classic cars, all the graphs are changing automatically. That's why it's interactive dashboards. I can choose several uh, product lines to display, or I can choose a single country. I can play with the time scale, or uh, I can even uh, choose to uh, display the time scale graph differently. Uh, these interactive dashboards are extremely convenient for analyzing your data or to presenting your data. Or also think about a situation if you are sitting on a, let's say, corporate annual meeting and whatever question arises, you can immediately answer and justify it with numbers. And the good news here is that it's very easy to create these interactive dashboards. It's practically just a set of uh, pivot charts uh, that are combined together, linked together with uh, slicers. Let's create one of them. Here I have all the data with the sales. So, and let's start by just creating a new chart. Insert pivot chart to the new worksheet. Yes. And I would like to, for example, uh, get my sales by the product line. And let's also change the chart type into the horizontal bars. A little bit of styling here. Then we can also hide these gray buttons, hide all buttons on the chart. Here it is. We can do uh, axis, etc. So then we can uh, copy this graph and put it on a new sheet that would be our new dashboard. Okay, let's, back, let's get back to data and uh, create a new chart. Pivot chart, new sheet again. And uh, now I would like to break down sales by the uh, time scale. And let's do all of them a year, quarter, and the month. And if you do it by uh, this way, and then you have this plus or minus signs that can conveniently uh, change the scale of the graph. Okay. Similar way, getting the graph on a dashboard. And here we can, for example, uh, create a new slicer or a timeline. Let's start with slicer. And uh, product line would be a good filter for that. Here it is. And now if we choose only classic cars, the timeline graph that we initially uh, selected to create a slicer is changing, but this one doesn't. So right click on the slicer, report connections here, and here we want to uh, include all the pivot tables that we want to be linked to that slicer. Let's just create all of them. Okay. And now, yes, when we choose uh, different product lines, the graphs automatically change. And now let's uh, insert a timeline here. It automatically defines that it's only can uh, get by order date. Okay. And let's now it's by month. Let's uh, use it by the year. Here it is. And again, uh, to every slicer or every timeline, we need to report connections. And again, choose all of those pivot tables. Okay. And now when we change the time scale, we also get automatically updates on other charts as well. So here it is, as simple as that. And don't forget last touches to make your interactive dashboards look tidy. So remember about number formats, uh, graph alignments, uh, everything that would make your interactive dashboard very easily readable.